from the mayor's attorney asking a judge to toss out the bribery charge against him. He says the travel benefits the mayor received are normal courtesies given to politicians and do not amount to federal crimes. All right, Fox 5's Arthur Chen live outside Gracie Mansion with more on today's developments. Arthur. Steve, Natasha, there have been a lot of developments. The mayor spent today showing New Yorkers that he is willing to and determined to still perform as his job as the mayor of New York City while his lawyers were in court trying to get a judge to dismiss, dismiss a key charge against him. I've done nothing wrong. Time will prove that. And people will look back on this moment and say, we're glad we gave this mayor the opportunity to do the work he's doing. As the work week kicked off, Mayor Adams dove into his work with public appearances, from a promotion and graduation ceremony at the sanitation department to an announcement on changes to and investments in New York's water supply. Adams was indicted on five federal criminal charges Friday, alleging he took bribes and illegal campaign contributions from foreign sources. This morning, Adams' lawyers asked a judge to dismiss the bribery charge, saying a gratuity is not the same as bribery. Congressmen get upgrades. They get corner suites. They get better tables at restaurants. They get free appetizers. They have their iced tea filled up. That's just what happens. Over the weekend, Adams' top advisor, Ingrid Lewis Martin, was subpoenaed and had her cell phone taken away at JFK Airport as she returned home from a trip. Federal investigators also searched her home. The mayor spent the weekend making his appeal at churches across the city. As for the line between gratuity and bribery, we asked the mayor today about where he draws that line. This was his response. You've made the point before that government does work when if you have relationships with your constituents and they bring things to your attention that you go and it's your job to get those done. Yes. What would you say to members of your administration and including members of the police department about that relationship, whether there are boundaries in terms of what is exchanged in that relationship? Are there limits after which it starts looking bad? I, I, I didn't get that. That was a little too complicated. Part of that exchange of that relationship, for instance, are uh, coffee or meals. What, what is the city's rule when it comes to when that relationship kind of tilts into something that the city might not look favorably upon, even though they're trying to gather information that's important to their constituents to act on? Uh, I must be slow this morning because I still didn't get it. Now, that exchange continued to go on. Ultimately, the mayor did not give an actual amount or type of gift that constitute a breach of ethics in the eyes of the city, but just said that there are rules. And meanwhile, in somewhat happier news, two of the mayor's top aides got married this weekend. We're talking about David Banks, the school's chancellor, and Sheena Wright. While the wedding was planned in advance, uh, legal experts point out now the two may not have to testify against each other if this were to end up in court. And finally, speaking of court, Mayor Adams himself will end up back in federal court on these charges on Wednesday. We're live at Gracie Mansion on the Upper East Side. Arthur Trien, Fox 5 News. Steve, Natasha, back to you guys. All right, Arthur. And back to that question the mayor didn't really want to deal with. Many companies, as you were alluding to, do have limits on how much their employees can receive in terms of gifts. Do New York City public servants have to follow similar rules? Right, so we looked this up, and the city's conflict of board interest, uh, conflict of interest board is the one that looks after this. Fifty dollars is the amount that's given. Uh, that is the max to receive from a vendor during the course of the year. There are other rules as well. That was the number we were looking for. We did not hear that from the mayor. Very well. We appreciate it. Thanks, Arthur.